Yo, it's the guy G Holy, and we back with another review. Um, my do rag is looking immaculate. My skin is glowing. I'm looking ridiculously ridiculous right now. But um, we about to get into this rush shit. Um, I first heard about this. First of all, let me just say, let me get this out of the way. I heard this shit like already in passing a little bit. But um, Russ is my fucking man. I fuck with Russ. I fuck with Russ way more than. Probably like the average person fuck with Russ. Like Russ is, I think it's definitely a dope lyricist, and uh, I even like it some of his like more poppy shit. You know what I'm saying? I think he do it right. I think it is along the lines of Drake. You know what I mean? It's funny that he would mention that recently, like comparing himself to Drake. I think he is along the lines of Drake, and I fuck with Drizzy too. But um, overall, I fuck with Russ. Now, one thing I did hear when I heard this shit the first time is it sounded like he was just pandering a little bit too much. Honestly, like it sounded like. He was going for the let me get my hip hop card. And it was coming off kind of like, don't you know you be trying to talk to a girl, but you gotta like, you gotta like get close to her. But it's weird as shit trying to get close to her. So you gotta do some awkward shit to get close to her. And then when she realized you doing some awkward shit to try to get close to her, now it's super awkward. So now you ain't even got no first line to say, cause then you just walk away on some stupid shit. That's the way this shit felt when I heard it. You know what I'm saying? It sounded, it felt like Russ, like, I can't get my hip hop card. Let me go try to get everybody hip hop that I can find. Let me get Crooked Eye. This shit featuring Crooked Eye, Ab Soul. He dust the Ab Soul off of this shit. He got Primo on this shit. He got Bust on this shit. Benny, Knife Wonder doing beats. Alchemist did a beat, I believe so. You know, we'll see though. I'm about to get back into this shit. I ain't really do a deep dive. So I'm not going to play this shit because YouTube be on some bullshit. So I'm going to play it, then be right back. Play it, then be right back. So right now I'm about to check out Stockholm Syndrome featuring Crooked Eye off that Chomp EP by Russ. I heard a bullshit bar just now. He was, he coming off, he killing this shit, but I heard a bullshit bar just now. He said, you lazy, you black China head. I didn't like it. Ironically, that bar was lazy. Ain't Stockholm Syndrome when you, um, like you start fucking with your oppressor? Yeah, I think Stockholm Syndrome is like when you, with somebody doing some shit to you, but you start liking them. So let me see where this is going. I fuck with the, I fuck with the beat. The beat crazy. You know the showbiz says don't plan, real idiots. Sidebar, I get busy on this beat. I'm about to download this shit. I'm about to do Chomp 2. I get busy on this beat. I make a bitch go get it like a Labrador. I ain't like that either. Russ don't usually got no, uh, like, a lot of bullshit bars. But I don't like that shit Crooked just said either. He just came on. And said, I remember listening to you on SoundCloud. And tell me how them clouds sound since they had it backwards. I think Crooked, is, Crooked Eye is a top five lyricist in the game. But I don't like I don't like that. I get it. I get exactly where they was going. They not, they not fucking with the industry. It seems like they're not fucking with the industry at all. I see what they mean by Stockholm Syndrome. They in the industry, but they not fucking with the industry. If Stockholm Syndrome really mean what I thought it meant, I, I see where this is going. I've never been this far through a Crooked Eye verse and then have a quotable. I've, I've never been this far through a Crooked Eye verse and then have a quotable. It's crazy. This nigga been hanging around Eminem too long. This nigga just saying a whole lot of nothing right now. I don't fuck with that he be fucking with Eminem. Like on a personal note, I don't fuck with that he be fucking with Eminem so heavy either. Okay, I got a bar. He said, I wrote a letter to Shug to tell him I'm still the nicest. And drinking a, a Crip, Crip Cola right where Killer Mike is. I like that. I like that kind of talk. I like that kind of talk. Niggas don't even know. You don't remember when Crooked Eye was signed to Shug Knight. You know what I'm saying? And Shug Knight being the blood, of course, Crip Cola with Killer Mike. I like that. I like that. If you don't remember when Crooked Eye was signed to uh, Shug Knight, go... YouTube that Ashanti, God damn it, what song is that? Remix video. I think it's the first single. Yeah. Keep one step like Medusa ahead of snakes. 
if you want to. This is a commercial plan right now. Hold on, let me pull up this shit. Keep one step like Medusa ahead of snakes. I don't like that bar. I do not like that bar. Crooked was on. Crooked was high. I'm going to just excuse him. He's a great rapper. I'm going to excuse what he just did. The next joint is uh, Who Want What featuring Ab Soul. I checked this out previously before I even listened to the EP, like in passing. Um, I seen this video. It was the Rap City um, in the basement theme video. He had Big Tigger there even doing the freestyle. I don't know if that's on the EP version, but I'm going to check this shit out real fast. This a whole, I'm, I'm like kind of a little bit through this song. This a whole sidebar right here, but this nigga signed to Russ My Way Incorporated? That's what this shit say. This nigga big time. This nigga independent for real. I don't know who did the last beat, but I always like Russ when he on his beats. When Russ do his beats, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's weird hearing them on other people's shit. I don't know who did the first beat, but it, it it's like he sit in his own pocket so well. You know what I mean? Like, I don't particularly like Eminem beats, but I like the way he sit in his pocket on the Eminem beats. You get what I'm saying? Oh, I just look. Russ did the first beat too. See? This is what I'm saying. I fuck with that beat, and I fuck with it. I fuck with the flow on that beat. That's what I'm saying. Catalog is long. I got more songs than Robert Plant. Fuck what he's saying. He's saying some shit, but this flow is ridiculous, dog. This flow is ridiculous on this verse. I'm, uh, oh, yeah, I'm listening to Who Wants What featuring Abso. Yeah, yeah, that rapper is the deadliest job shit. That shit hit different when you hear it in, in the context of what's going on right now with, you know what I mean, Mo3, Benny, King Von, this one, that one, you know what I'm saying? But I've been saying this shit. I've been saying... Rap is the most dangerous job in the world. Everybody wanna... This shit hard, dog. That shit... Niggas think you don't deserve what you got. Police think you uh, a hardened criminal still. Bitches trying to get money from you, set you up. Like... That shit crazy, dog. Five six, but with a stick, I feel like I'm six one. That's not a bad bar, and we got a rust gun bar. It's a good song. Cause this Henny still got me wired like Henry Hill, like that. I'll rap your favorite rapper, then have your girl's favorite song. That's see, it's more than bars. I'm giving away too much sauce, but fuck it. If you watch it, you deserve it. It's sometimes it'd be more than bars. Like you could come up with hot bars, but how you really stay around is you got to define yourself with your bars. So when you say something like, um, I was a, what do you say? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll rap your favorite rapper and make your girl favorite song. That's similar to when Drake said, um, when, when my album dropped, niggas will buy for the pitching. No, bitches will buy for the pitching. Niggas will buy it too and say they got it for their sister. That's the, the, it's not just a bar. It's a, you know what I'm saying? So that shit was dope. I don't want to keep pausing this shit and talking about the bars, but he said I got plaques in countries I've never seen. That's a stunt stunt. I don't feel the same way I felt when I when I did it in passing now. Like, I don't feel the same when I heard it in passing. I don't feel the same way I felt as far as... I still feel like it's a pandering a bit, but I don't feel like it's done, like, super corny like I thought it was. I wasn't really, like... I was doing dishes and shit. And Jennifer wouldn't fuck me, had to garner attention. Nope. This is Nipsey mixed with Kobe. Yeah, Merge Mentality. That was cool. Yo, this wasn't supposed to be a bar breakdown. Actually, this shit is... This whole video is longer than I wanted it to be right now, but... It's just all bars on the... The shit is just all bars, really. So, there's nothing else to break down but the bars. <laughs> Ask the last guy what happened when you played with me. I like the style of the hook. Who wants what, when, what? I like the style of this hook. It's, it's just kind of like the old shit. Like. Solo KRS motherfucking two. This is what I noticed before when I heard this shit, when I was doing the dishes. This nigga's soul is rapping like he want to rap. When Ab Soul is rapping like he want to rap, that could potentially be problems for rappers.
I think he just said I took a spoonful of the putting the proof was in. The truth is disgusting. That might be disgusting. Your views amuse my vision. Your outlook funny. I had to enrich my senses without no money. I had to enrich my sense without no money. I don't like the second part, but that view shit, yeah. Believe that. Remember that she changes when they don't want to rematch.